third, we are going to do inequalities notes today and we're going to learn to solve inequalities and they're pretty much exactly like solving equations. So if you're good at solving equations, you'll be just fine at this. Uh, so I might go back and forth between the paper that we have for notes today and my notebook paper. If you don't have the notes printed out, notebook paper will be perfectly fine. So it won't matter at all. Um, if you guys need anything, make sure that you, um, sorry, I'm checking the chat. Make sure that you um, let me know and interrupt me anytime you need to. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so you can see our notes. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know. So we're going to start. I am going to use this for a minute. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to switch, like I said, back and forth between this and some notebook paper. So we're going to start with the inequality signs. Greater than looks like this. Less than looks like this. Greater than or equal to just has a line underneath it. So the greater than sign and a line. And then less than or equal to. That's a rough drawing, but it'll get better. <clears throat> All right. So then what we have is this open circle. So why does it say open circle? So when I graph it, if we have less than or we have greater than, when we graph the point on a number line, it's an open circle, which means it doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Okay, so that means that we don't include that point in our answer. Okay, if it's closed circle, it's gonna be the less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. And when we graph it on a number line, we close it up and it does exist in the answer, okay? It does exist. All right, so I'm gonna start on here, and I know this one is kind of hard to read, but I'll rewrite it over here. Negative four N minus two is greater than negative 78. Okay, negative 78, that's what we're gonna solve. <clears throat> so just like before, All we're doing is trying to figure out what we're solving for and then move it around, okay? So what are we trying to solve for? N. N. What's on the same side but not with it? Negative two. Yeah, how do we get rid of that negative two? You guys are doing great. Add it. Perfect, we do the opposite sign so we add two. All right, your twos cancel out. Make sure you bring down all of this. So the whole negative four in. Some of you are not bringing down that negative, okay? So you're gonna bring down that negative. We're just gonna drop that sign down. And then make sure that you're adding these correctly. This is the step where I see most of the mistakes. So negative 78 plus two. So if we were at negative 78 on the number line and we added two or went to the right two, we would be at negative 76. Okay. If we were doing an equation or an equals to, what would be our next step? Divide negative four in. Mm -hmm. And again, we're really just dividing negative four. But here's the important step right here. So I'm going to go back up here before I even solve it. And I'm going to move it back down. So just bear with me. If you multiply or divide by a negative, You're going to flip the inequality. So that's the only new step today. So if you were solving equations, you would just go ahead and divide by negative four and you'd be done. But on this one, when you divide by negative four, you have to flip the inequality. All right. 
Tell me if I move it and you need it. Again, flip the inequality. So then down here, we would have N because your negative fours cancel out. We have to flip this to be the other way. So instead of greater than, it's gonna be less than. And it's not super important that you know how to read that, okay? So as long as you know you flip it and it points the opposite direction. And then here's the other step you guys are missing. A negative over a negative makes a positive and 76 divided by four is 19. So this is your answer. Any questions? All right, so then it says graph its solution. You're not gonna do a whole bunch of this, but I'm gonna make you do it today. So first off, we look for 19. This inequality right here, this less than. If I put an arrow on it, which way would it be pointing? If I made it into an arrow, which way would it be pointing? Left. That means we're going to shade to the left. And then because it doesn't have an equal mark, you see up here, because it doesn't have an equal mark, it's an open circle. So left and open. All right. So here's how you graph it. Find 19 on the number line. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18 right here is 19. And we just don't fill that in. Okay, and I over exaggerate it so that you guys can see it. Okay, I don't want to put a little tiny open circle that looks filled in. And then you said it points to the left. And again, I'm over exaggerating it so that you can see the shade. And it goes to the left. That's it. So solve it like normal. And then the new thing is how to graph it. Okay. Your second one. All right, I'm trying to get everything on the paper so you can see it. Your second one is negative nine minus R over three. And I think this is negative seven. I can't see it either, but we're gonna say it is. Okay. All right. If I'm solving this, what am I trying to solve for? R. What's on the same side but not with it? Be careful on this. The three. Uh-huh. How do I get rid of a divide three? Multiply. Multiply. Perfect. Good job, both of you. So your threes will cancel out. We multiplied by a positive, so we don't have to do anything. Everything stays the same, so don't change the inequality. What is negative seven times three? Negative 23. Not 23, but 21. 21, perfect. Both of you, great job. How do we solve now? Add, add nine. nine. Right, perfect, you're gonna get rid of that nine, so I'm gonna add it because it's a negative. Bring down your whole negative R. What is negative 21 plus nine? Twelve or negative twelve. Uh -huh. It's gonna be negative twelve. Like I said, that's one of those places you guys say twelve and then you write it, but you forget your negative. How do I get rid of this negative on the front of R? Divide. Divide by what? One. Uh huh. And what kind of one? Negative. Negative, negative one. one. Perfect. So what that does is that cancels out the negative in front of the R. What did I divide by? Negative one. Negative what one. happens when I divide by a negative? What do I have to do? You have to flip the inequality. Flip the inequality. Please don't forget that. And then a negative over a negative makes a positive 12. Positive 12. I'm not going to use this number line because I think I gave you the wrong problem, but it's okay. I'll use this one. If you have to do this yourself, you can cheat a little bit, and I'm going to put my number there. Should it be an open or closed circle? 
open. Open because it's not equal to. And which way is it pointing this time? Right. right. So I just over exaggerate it so you guys can see it to the right. That's it. All right, now these other ones we can see a little better. Negative 134 less than negative 8 minus 9x. So negative 134 less than negative 8 minus 9x. What's my first step? Add 8. Mm -hmm. Add 8 to both sides. Guys, if you need a calculator, use it. Negative 134 plus 8 is negative 126. Bring down your sign. Bring down your whole negative 9x. What's our next step? Divide by 9. What kind of 9? Negative. So you say we divide by negative 9. What's that going to do? So Mm -hmm. So negative 126 divided by negative 9 is a positive 14. You said flip the sign, and that leaves you with x. Now, I don't want this like this, okay? I want to write it so that I can have it like these two where I can actually graph it. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to read it backwards. So if we go from the x, this is pointing at the x. Right now it's greater than, so we're going to flip it. It needs to be pointing at the X and then our 14. So that's the one that we're going to graph. How do you graph this? Come on, guys. How do you graph it? You find 14 on the uh, number line, then it's an open circle and it goes left. Perfect. Left because it points to the left. And what am I talking about this? If I made this into an arrow, it's pointing to the left. That's the way it should point on the graph. So what you're going to have is you're actually going to have a multiple choice quiz for today. Be careful and watch those graphs. So you might get two answers that have 14. One might be less than, one might be greater than. Or you might have two less than 14s. Watch those graphs. This one should be an open circle to the left. All right, so your next one. Negative 31 less than or equal to negative 5 minus 2b. How do I solve? Add 5 to negative 31. Perfect. Add 5 because we do the opposite to cancel it out. Negative 31 plus 5 is negative 26. We didn't multiply or divide by a negative, so we just bring down the sign. And then make sure you bring down the whole negative 2b. Guys, if you have to circle like that, go ahead and circle. That's fine. I don't have to do it, but I like to do it for you so you see where it's coming from. Last step. We're dividing by a negative 2. So what does that mean we have to do? Flip the, Flip sign. the, sign. Flip the sign. Negative 26 divided by negative 2. It's 13. Positive 13. You said we had to flip the sign, so it needs to point the other way. And then those canceled out, leaving B. But I don't like to graph it like this, so I'm going to flip it completely around. I'm going to have B. My inequality should point to B. See how this one's pointing to B? And then put our 13. How do you graph this? Find the 13 on the number line. And then do what? Close circle. Close it up. So again, I over-exaggerate it. Which way do we shade? Left. Left. And again, your quiz is multiple choice, but you're still going to have to show work. You're still going to have to upload that work. How many of these have I done without work? Zero. And how many have I only written the answer down for? All of them. But I'm saying just the answer. 
everyone I've shown work and everyone I've made clear where my answer is, but on your uploads lately, I'm not get, I'm just getting a, like a, just the answer. So like somebody might do number one is N less than 19. Number two is R greater than 12. Guys, I got to see your work so I can tell you where you mess up. That's all it's for. Okay, so make sure you show all your work. If you're not showing your work, you're only getting half credit for the assignment. Make sure you show your work. All right, what's different about the last two? What do they have that the other ones didn't? Parentheses. Yeah, so what do we do when there's parentheses? Multiply. Mm -hmm. So we have negative 18. That's actually a plus 8R. And then I'm going to go ahead and distribute this. Make sure you multiply it to both. Some of you are still not multiplying to both. What is negative 3 times 1? Negative 3. Mm -hmm. What is negative 3 times negative R? Negative 3R. Negative times negative makes a? Positive. Positive 3R. So watch that. A lot of you are doing that as well. Okay. No worries. Those are little mistakes we can fix. All right. So when I told you if you had variables on both sides, what you want to do is get the littlest one. Uh, I always do the littlest one on this, and then I flip it around on the end. If you don't want to, it'll still come out the same way. So the littlest one between 8 and 3 is this positive 3. How do I get rid of positive 3? Minus. Minus it. So then bring down your negative 18. 8 minus 3 is positive 5. Bring down your negative three and those cancel out. Now it's just like the other ones we've been doing. What's my next step? Add 18 to negative three. Perfect. Your 18s cancel out. We're bringing down our 5R. Less than or equal to. You can read it upside down if you want to. What's 18 minus three? 15. And then our last step is divide by five. We didn't divide or multiply by a negative, so we're good to go. Keep your sign. And 15 divided by five is? Three. How do I graph this? Find the three on the number line, and it's going to be a closed circle. Perfect, closed circle. And which way do I shade? Left. Left, because it's pointing to the left. Thanks to the couple of you who are answering all the questions. Somebody else join in too, okay? This one's the exact same question pretty much. We're gonna distribute this three. I can't tell if it's a positive or negative, so we're gonna make it a negative, okay? I will make sure your notes are a little bit clearer next time. All right, so we have four K. What is negative three times K? Negative three k. Perfect. Negative three times negative six. Positive eighteen. Less than or equal to negative k. Nope, seven k. Minus twenty. Now what we have is some variables on the same side. We need to get rid of those. We're going to put those together before we do anything else. What's four minus three? One. one. You can do one K or you can just write K. Both of those will be just fine. Rewrite everything else. Which one is your smallest K? One. How do I get rid of it? Perfect. How do you get rid of it? Uh, subtract by seven. Not seven, but we said one was the smallest, so we're going to do one. You can do seven. There's nothing wrong with that answer. That's the right answer. I just like to move the smallest one. If you use the seven, it's perfectly fine. Okay, so don't stress out about which one you can use. You can use either one. We're going to drop down the 18 less than or equal to. What's seven minus one? Six. So we have six K. Minus 20. Finish it out. We're going to add 20 to both sides. Oh, 
I'm going to tell you, I got one of the signs wrong in here somewhere because it shouldn't be uh, a fraction, but it's okay. What if you get a fraction? All you have to do is remember to reduce it. So we're going to divide by six. Remember in your calculator, I'll do it for you. If I just put in 38 divide six, I'm put it over here so I can see it. I get this crazy decimal 6.33333. But if I hit math, enter, enter, it'll give me 19 over three. Oh, sorry, less than or equal to, okay. I can switch it around. And that's my final answer. I don't care if you graph it like this. The biggest thing is I want to know what's your hole look like and which side do you graph on. So if it's K is greater than or equal to 19 over 3, what kind of hole is that going to be, open or close? Close. So we're going to close it up. And which side does it sh say to shade on? Right. So don't stress out. So if you're having to do this by hand and you can't print things off, you can still graph it. Please don't make 50,000 numbers on the number line. Just make the one, okay? Because what I'm looking for is, is it open or closed and which way did you shade? So I'm not looking for how big your number line is. Is everybody good? All right, so the next part of your notes is just writing them and then solving them. So be careful of these words, and the reason that they're doing this is so that you'll see it at most. At most means that's as big as it can be. So what does everything else have to be? What every other number compared to 30? If the most it can be is 30, everything else has to be what? Less than 30. Less than. Now, can it be equal to 30? Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Because it says at most 30. So that includes 30. If they wanted it any different, they would say is greater than 30. So they'll say it right out too. All right. The sum of 5x and 2x is at least 14. I don't even care about the 5x and 2x part. So I'm just going to give that to you 5x plus 2x. What I care about is what sign at least makes. Is it less than or greater than? Is it equal to? So at least. So the littlest it can be is 14. So what numbers am I looking for? Less than 14? Nope. The littlest it can numbers be. Is bigger than 14. Can it be equal to? If you make at least $14, no. can you make $14? Yes, you can. So you may want to put it in something that you understand. Okay, one more time. If you're working a job, you can make at most 30. That means you're never going to get above 30. So you can get 30, but not above it. So everything has to be less than. Here, if you make at least 14, so somebody says, if you come work for me, I'll pay you at least $14. That means you're going to make 14 and possibly some more. So that's where that comes from, greater than or equal to. I hope that helps just a little bit. All right, look at the next one. The product of X and Y, what does product mean? Multiply. Yeah, so we're just gonna write it side by side. Multiply X and Y is less than or equal to, that one's really easy, they tell you exactly what it is. Less than or equal to four. They can say greater than or equal to, they can say less than, they can say greater than. These are the ones that are important that you need to watch, okay? Five less than a number Y. I do you want to go over this one? Remember this less than is the tricky one. How do I write five less than a number Y? Y minus five. Perfect. It says is under, is under. So would I use less than or greater than? Less than. Is it equal to 20? Can it be 20? No. No, because if you're working a job and they say your pay is going to be under $20, you know it's not going to be 20. It's going to be less. Okay, so maybe put it in those terms. So now that's what you're going to do, but you're actually going to solve it. We are not going to graph these. So we have five more. Um, I think we're looking at about 
maybe 10 more minutes soon on this. So we got to watch it. Uh, we might run out of time, but we're going to try not to. If we do, you can come back in. If not, that's okay too. I'll just post what we have uh, in this Zoom. If five times a number is increased by four, start there. Five times a number increased by four. How do I write that? How do I write? 5x five five yeah. minus 4. Perfect. Not decrease, but increase. Plus 4. Plus 4. Perfect. The result is at least, go back to your cheat sheet, at least was this one right here. What inequality did we use for at least? Less than or equal to? Not less than. Oh, greater than. Greater than. No worries, no worries. Find the least possible number that satisfies these conditions. Basically, that just means solve. So I don't even care about this last one. I just want you to be able to solve them, okay? So just solve them. How do I solve this? You minus four to nine. Perfect, subtract four. I get five X, your fours cancel out. Bring down that sign. And 19 minus 4 is 15. How do I solve now? Divide by okay, five. Perfect. I did not multiply or divide by a negative, so that sign stays the same. So our final answer, x is greater than or equal to 3. I don't want you to graph. I just want you to solve. That's it, guys. That's pretty much it. So if you can write it, remember we wrote it in the last section or last week. So if you can write it, you can solve it, and then just box it in. The sum of twice a number and five, start there. Sum of twice a number and five. What does twice a number mean? Multiply by two. Mm -hmm. So how do I write twice a number? We don't know that number, so what are we going to use for it? Two in. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and use x. You can use n if you want to. I don't care what variable. You can use q. It doesn't matter. So how do I do the sum? Add. Add five. What about at most? At most. What Less sign? than or equal to? Yes, perfect. And again, you guys got the cheat sheet up here. So you have at most and at least right there. So use it. Don't, don't not use it. When you get to your homework or your quiz or whatever, use it. You got a cheat sheet is at most 15. How do I solve this? Minus five. Perfect, minus five from both sides. I'm gonna write it up here because I wrote too big. Two X is less than or equal to 10. 15 minus five is 10. Sorry, that's less than or equal to. Finish it out. We're going to divide by two. The sign stays the same because we didn't divide or multiply by a negative. So x is less than or equal to five. five. And that's it, y'all. That's all you got to do. All right, so this next one confuses people. It's not bad if I told you. Okay, let's think about this. John bought orange juice for three dollars and fifty cents he only had fifteen dollars how could i set this up how could i get the amount of money he spent on orange juice all right let me do this a little bit different if you go to the store and you buy orange juice that's 350 a gallon but you want to buy two of them or you want to buy four of them. How do you get the total price? Would it be 350 times a number? Yeah, so 350 X. Well, all I can spend is 15. So 15 is going to be over here. Can the price be less than 15 or greater than 15? 
What can less. you spend? Yeah, less. Can it be equal to 15? Yes. Yes, because you have 15, so it can be equal to it. Another way you could do this one is just add up to 350, like 350 plus 350 plus 350 until you get to 15 or until you go over. So this one may not be one that you have to set up with an equation. To finish it out, we divide by 350. Is this gonna give us a whole number? Is this gonna give us a whole number, yes or no? No. No, I like how you always answer, I mean, answer the question, no, it's fun. Uh, no, $3 would, but 350 is not going to. So what this actually gives us is 4.29, and I did it on my calculator, no joke, it is right there. So the maximum number I can buy is 4.29. Can we buy a 0 0.29 of an, a milk carton or orange juice? No. No, so what's the max that we could buy if our answer has to be less than or equal to 4.29? What's four the, dollars. yes, four. four, not four dollars, but four gallons. So that one's a weird one. If you guys, I'm gonna show you a different way. So here's one gallon. Add that to two gallons, that's seven dollars. Add your third gallon, that gives you 10.50. When I add my fourth gallon, I get $14. Can I add a fifth gallon? No. No, because I'll go over my $15. So if you wanna do it this way, that's fine too. So this shows you that for $15, you can get four gallons and you'll get some change back, okay? So don't stress out about that problem. It seems weird, but it's actually pretty common sense. All right, I have about five minutes left. Three times a number increased by eight. Let's start there. Three times a number increased by eight. How do I write that? Three N plus eight. I'll use your N this time. Is no more than, no more than. What does that mean it has to be? Less than or equal to. Perfect, no more than. So it can be that number, it just can't be more. So that's why it's equal to, is because it can be that number. The same number decreased by four. N minus four. Perfect. And now we're just solving it. I'm gonna pick my smallest N, which is this one, and I'm gonna subtract it since it's positive. Three minus one is two N. Bring down your positive eight, bring down your sign, and please make sure you bring down that negative with that four. That's one of the things you guys aren't doing. Finish it out, subtract eight from both sides. We get two n is less than or equal to negative 12. Finish it out, divide by two. We did not multiply or divide by a negative. So our sign is gonna stay the same and we get less than or equal to negative six. You're gonna have a couple on your test and stuff that you're gonna to have to write down. Nothing crazy, not a million of them, just one, maybe two. All right, two thirds of a number plus five is greater than 12. So how do I write two thirds of a number? Two over three. X. Perfect. Then it says real easy plus five. It says real easy again is greater than. So use your greater than symbol. If you forget which one's which, you have a cheat sheet. And it's greater than 12. Okay. We're gonna subtract five, that's the easy part. And I get two thirds X is greater than Seven. 
All right, so a lot of you will want to divide by two thirds. I don't do that, I try to make it a little bit easier. So here's what we're gonna do. See how this says divide three? How do I get rid of a divide three? Multiply. This is how you get rid of that fraction without having to actually deal with a fraction. That leaves me with two X greater than seven times three is 21. Now it's really easy. So anytime you have a fraction, just multiply that bottom out of there. It doesn't matter what the bottom is. Then divide by two and we get X is greater than, what's 21 divided by two? It's a decimal, don't freak out. Ten point five. And you can give me either the fraction or the decimal. And again, all you do to find the decimal is put it in your calculator, 21 divided by two. All right. Does anybody have any questions? All right, I'm gonna stop the share and I'm gonna stop the recording.